Hello, everyone, and welcome to Staying Ahead of the Curve. I'm Jeff Snyder, Vice President and Senior Consultant with Comac Retirement Group. And joining me now to talk about the state of the current economy and provide a global market update, as well as talk about U.S. retirement, is Rick Fulford from PIMCO. Rick, thanks for joining us on the show today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So we're working with plan sponsors of large retirement plans, defined benefit and defined contribution plans. And let's talk a little bit about the impact to, to a certain asset classes, uh, target A funds, uh, fixed income, mm-hmm. stable value as, as examples. What, what's the impact there? The first thing I'd say is, you know, we're in the market of uh, defined contribution and creating better outcomes for participants. What participants need more than anything is higher interest rates. So the normalization of, of rates in the United States, which the Fed is embarking upon, even though it's going to be a slow progression, is really important because savers, um, investors, DC plan participants, they have insufficient income. And, and it's been the case really post-crisis. So I would say two things to your question. One is, you know, why rates are, rising rates are good for investors. Uh, when you think about bonds, right, bond math is pretty simple. There's not a lot of ambiguity in bond math. There's two components to returns. One is uh, the yield side of the equation, right? You, you earn the, the given yield on a portfolio. Uh, the second is the price component. And, and what you find in bonds uh, is that that yield component tends to dominate returns over time specifically over the duration of the investment. So for a typical bond investor, that's three, four, or five years. So if you're a long-term investor, uh, like, a, like a DC participant is, um, you should actually cheer when rates go up, right? Because reinvesting at higher and higher rates of interest is just simply a cruise to your bottom line. And that's ultimately very, very good for you. In, in terms of you know, impact on portfolios, I guess the other part of the, the question from my perspective, as it, at least as it relates to fixed income is, what should plan participants be doing to optimize their fixed income portfolio for the forward-looking environment, recognizing that it's not going to look like the last 20 or 30 years where we had a secular decline in interest rates. And and we think there's actually some very simple steps that they can take, right? Most DC plans have a core bond allocation, a Barclays aggregate style bond portfolio. We're recommending that they consider adding an additional type of portfolio, one that is highly diversified globally, it it invests in multiple sectors of the bond market, and importantly, given the bond math discussion we just did, has a primary focus on producing consistent income over time, right? By investing in uh, things like investment grade credit, high yield, emerging markets, um, non-agency mortgages, all of which tend to do pretty well uh, in rising rate environments. So fixed income participants should cheer uh, rates going up. To that end, uh you know, kind of we talk about the rising rate environment, but we also have political implications here. We've got uh, federal and local elections coming up. How do you bake those into, I mean, those are qual- really qualitative things. I mean, how do you bake those into your portfolio management team assumptions, or do you? You have to. That is the essence of, of active management. You've got to incorporate uh, an ongoing, changing set of inputs. Um, And that's what our process is all about. PIMCO is a firm that really marries uh, the top-down macroeconomic views with the bottoms-up perspectives of a very, very deep team of professionals. And we've done this for going on 50 years now, right? So we've we've had a long-standing process that that, uh, we've honed and refined uh, over that time. Importantly, I think the strength of our process and our our ability to incorporate the ideas you just mentioned are uh, really come down to our people, right? The fact that We have over 350 portfolio managers, analysts, mortgage specialists with expertise in every corner of the market. That's critical to delivering value in an actively managed portfolio. I think our process does a nice job of um, not only marrying the top down, but really encapsulating the skills and capabilities and knowledge of all these people. That's not an easy task. And in, in terms of the higher frequency data and inputs that we need to incorporate, Our investment committee, which really uh, includes our most senior portfolio managers in the firm, meets daily for two hours a day. Real time, every day, we're incorporating new data, we're incorporating economic releases, and we're adapting portfolios accordingly.